Hello all, I am Dr. Anand Nayar, PhD in Computer Science. I welcome you all to my YouTube channel Gyan with Anand Nayar. Subscribe to my YouTube channel and stay tuned to all the technology videos on Linux administration, open source, Windows administration, embedded systems, Kali Linux, simulations, big data, machine learning, programming, deep learning, IoT, virtualization, unboxings and many more. If you want to know more about my, the details of my video, you can click on the playlist and you can find more details of the videos on which I make on my YouTube channel. If you want to know more about my research, you can go to Google Scholar and you can search my name Dr. Anand Nayar and you can find all my research papers over here. And similarly, you can even go to researchgate.net and you can find my detailed profile and even my level of research over here and you can find all the coordinates of my current research scenarios on this website. And similarly, you can even go to google.com and you can search my name as Anand Nayar and you can find my website and every coordinate needs of my of my research everything over this search so i request you to subscribe to my youtube channel and stay tuned gyan with anand Nayar, your ultimate resource for technology thank you hello researchers how are you i hope you are fine and doing well in this video i will be demonstrating how to install pandora fms server on centos 7 now before we dive in the installation part of Pandora FMS server on CentOS 7, let us first of all understand what is Pandora FMS and what are its unique components. Pandora FMS stands for Pandora Flexible Monitoring System is a software for monitoring computer networks. Pandora FMS allows monitoring in a visual way the status and performance of several parameters from different operating systems, servers, applications and hardware systems such as firewalls, proxies, databases, web servers or routers. Pandora FMS can be deployed in almost any operating system. It features remote monitoring, WMI, SNMP, TCP, UDP, ICMP, HTTP, and it can also use agents. An agent is available for each platform. It can also monitor hardware systems with a TCP IP stack such as load balancers, routers, network switches, printers, or firewalls. Pandora FMS has several servers that process and get information from different sources using WMI for gathering remote Windows information, a predictive server, a plugin server which makes complex user-defined network tests, an advanced export server to replicate data between different sites of Pandora FMS, a network discovery server and an SNMP trap console. Now let's come to some of the components which Pandora FMS server contains. The first and the foremost component for Pandora FMS server is Pandora server. In Pandora FMS architecture, servers are the core of the system because they are the recipients of bundles of information. They also generate monitoring alerts. It is possible to have different modular configurations for the servers, several servers for very big systems or just a single server. Servers are also responsible for inserting the gathered data into the Pandora's database. It is possible to have several Pandora servers connected to a single database. Different servers are used for different kind of monitoring, remote monitoring, WMI monitoring, SNMP and other network monitoring, inventory recollection, etc. Highly scalable up to 2000 nodes with one single server, completely web driven and a multi-tenant interface. It has a very flexible ACL system and lots of graphical reports and user defined control screens. Servers are developed in Perl and work on any platform that has required modules and Pandora was originally developed for Linux. The second component is Web Console. Pandora's user interface allows people to operate and manage the monitoring system. It is developed in PHP and depends on a database and a web server. It can work in wide range of platforms such as Linux, Solaris, Windows, AIX and others. Several web consoles can be deployed in the same system if required. Web Console has multiple choices in example SNMP monitoring. The third important component is the agents. Agents are daemons or services that can monitor any numeric parameter, boolean status, string or numerical incremental data at any condition. They can be developed in any language such as shell script, WSH, Perl or C. They run on any platform Microsoft, AX, Solaris, Linux, Macintosh or FreeBSD and also SAP because the agents can communicate with the Pandora FMS server to send data in XML using SSH, FTP, NFS and even other data transfer means. 
The fourth important component is the database. The database module is the core module of Pandora. All the information of the system resides here. For example, all data gathered by agents, configuration defined by administrator, events, incident, etc. are stored in databases. At present, MySQL database and MariaDB is supported and Oracle support has been added in 6.0 release. The latest version is version 7.0 NG716 which was released on November 28, 2017. The last but not the least, let us talk something about software appliances. Pandora FMS has a software appliance based on a customized CentOS Linux installable on CD, comes ready to use or ready to install to hard disk drive. It also has an AMI appliance based on Amazon AWS. There is also available a Docker image at Docker HUB. So this was a brief introduction about uh, Pandora FMS. So as I've already told you that it is the latest table release is 7.0 which was released on November 28, 2017 and it is available in wide range of uh, uh, you can say uh, languages such as English, Spanish, Japanese, Russian, Chinese etc. And the official website which you can see right now is PandoraFMS.com and you can see all the available things which is available on the website. So you can even find more details on the website and even you can uh, use this link that is why to use Pandora over here. So you can see that uh, insufficient resources, too many tools, lack of info, lack of confidence. So all this is why monitor with Pandora FMS and even you can find more information regarding the solutions over here. So this was the part A of my video in which I have demonstrated what is actually meant by Pandora FMS. So now let's go to the part B without wasting time in which I will be demonstrating how to install Pandora FMS server on CentOS 7. Now as you can see that I have installed a fresh version copy of CentOS 7 on my VMware workstation. So let us unlock it and let's log in with the root. So here are all the steps which I have uh, formulated a theory for all of you as you can see. So all the steps which will be uh, will be available not in the link in the description below but on my official Facebook page which I will be also providing you the link in the description below. And if you have any other questions or do you want to mail me any your queries I will be also leaving my official email ID so that you can sit downstairs and you can give me an email. So make it sure that your net is connected so click over here and make it sure that it is on. Sometimes uh, uh, you don't on it so it can create a problem with your network connectivity. So let us click on open in terminal. So all the steps are available and I have written everything in part A, part B and even in the part C. So everything will be available over here. So let's start and let's start with the installation and configuration. So before I start with the commands, let me tell you that you have to do the yum update so that all the repositories of CentOS can be updated as soon as possible. So let us check the IP address of this machine. So the IP address is 192.168.68.146. So let us check the connectivity by typing Google. So you can see that it is properly connected to my internet. So now let's start with the configuration of Pandora FMS server. So the part A is to install MariaDB server, enable and start the service. So make it sure that you start and enable this whenever I am doing this. Otherwise the Pandora server will not be working when you restart your machine or restart the server. So let's go and install the first component of this video or Pandora FMS that is the MariaDB server. So let us give the command yum space minus y install Maria db hyphen server so you can see that some package and dependencies have been crawled so all depends on your net connection how much good it is so it is about 21 MB of the software so after that we have to start and we have to enable the MariaDB server so it is running the transaction check and updating and it has also retrieved the GPG key from the server So the latest version that is 5.5.56-2 is being installed. So you can see that it is installed beautifully. So let's clear this and now let us start the service of MariaDB. So systemctl start MariaDB. So let us check the status. So you can see that it is active and running. It is installed beautifully. So now let us enable it so that whenever you restart the machine, it is already enabled. So you can see that it is done. So now what we have to do 
in order to enable MariaDB to work as a good backend server for Pandora FMS as I've already explained in a theory that Pandora FMS is supporting MySQL as well as MariaDB we have to do some commands. So let's log in with this that is MySQL space minus U root. So it is logged in. So first of all let us change the password for root that is use MySQL. So now let us change the password. So here is my password which I have written by name that is Anand. You can use any of your password name. So let's control C and let's paste it. So now let us flush the privileges and now exit. So now let us check again with the command that is MySQL space minus U root space minus P and now let us take the password and it is properly formulated. So make it sure if you don't run these commands and change the password you will find some problems at the back at the front end when I will install MariaDB and we will open the website. So let's clear. So now the part A is done. So let's go with the part B in which I have to install the Pandora console. So in order to install Pandora console we have to install the repository so that we should be able to crawl the Pandora repo from online. So let us gedit this command. And now let us paste this so that I should be able to crawl the repository from online. So let's paste this command so you can see that I am saving it and let's close. So now it is already set to install Pandora console. So let's copy this and let's paste this. So you can see that the repositories are being crawled and it is about a 14 MB of size. So it will not take much time because I'm having a high speed broadband connection. So after this what we have to do is to start and enable the HTTPD. So make it sure I am saying again that whatever backend server and even the front end which you are using make it sure that you start and enable it otherwise you will have to find you will find a problem when you restart the server. So make it sure not for every video or for this video make it sure for every video. So it is installing beautifully. So it is installing the PHP also because PHP because uh, as you know that Pandora FMS server is written in PHP so PHP will also be installed as a dependency. So it is installing the console now so it can take some time some few seconds. Let's wait. Okay it is done beautifully. Okay. So you can see that now it has properly installed and verified. So now let us clear this and now let us first of all start the HTTPD which is the web server uh, thing. So let us even check the status. So it is active and running. So now let us give the important command that is enable so that whenever you restart the server it is already enabled. So it is let us clear. So now let us uh, configure some firewall rules so that we should not find any problem by uh, making some uh, changes to the ports. So it will success. So let us reload the firewall by firewall space hyphen cmd and minus minus reload. So it is a success. So now let us go for some SE Linux settings. So let us install policy core utils of Python. So let us copy paste this command. So everything is going fit and fine. You follow just steps. So it is a 19 MB package. It will be installing. So after that we have to go with these uh, main conditions which we have to follow. So it is updating because sometimes some system commands are required or system kernel based files are required. It can take some time. Let's wait for it to complete. It can take some time. So very easy installation is there. So now you can see that it has started working. Some commands are very fast, some are very slow. So you can see that uh, it is a SE Linux so it is a heavy package so it can take some time. Okay. Let's wait.
so it is working beautifully now and after the cleanup it will be verifying okay great so now everything has been installed and set up so now what we have to do is to do for these settings so let us copy this command let us paste it okay it is done so let us go with the include and attachment also so let us go with this so all these are SE Linux settings so simple settings simple commands everything working beautifully okay so all set now we are all set up to open the IP address of the machine for web based installation and basic settings so let's take the IP address that is 192.168.68.146 let us copy this so this is IP address slash Pandora hyphen console so here we will be opening so let us go to the host machine and let's go with this IP address slash Pandora underscore console so yes you can see that it has uh, worked beautifully so it says welcome to the Pandora FMS installation wizard so this wizard will guide you everything so let us go with next so here is a GPL license agreement so what we have to do is to accept the license agreement so it is checking the software dependencies and you can see that everything is working very beautifully and everything what is required because you see that it requires PHP because it is written in PHP all is designed well so let's click on next and now what we have to do is to type the root password which we have set it in the first uh, part of my installation part so let us type my name which my which was over there so let's click on next so yes it has created the database so now it is saying that please write it down so here is the password which is generated for Pandora so let's copy this so it has created a new config file etc so let us go with the next so over here what we have to do you see that installation is complete so before trying delete the installer profile so select if you want to rename so what I do I just click here to access our Pandora FMS console so we have to delete the file so let us copy back and now what we have to do is to run this command in order to delete the install.php file so let us paste this and let's remove and let's go over there so let's click on ok so let's refresh so you can see it is there so over here we have the username as admin and, and Pandora as the password so you can see let's go with admin and Pandora so let's wait for the opening and yes you can see that it has done so let's close this wizard so let us end this so now what we have to do is to click on the language settings so time zone is uh, my is Asia and over here we have the Vietnam so Vietnam is good so let us type some fake ID that is Gmail or whether you want to have to you know. so you can just click on register so I just don't need it so let us click on fetch so uh, do you want to continue without any addition so I'll click on yes and yes you can see that it is saying everything which is written over here so this was Pandora CMS so you can even click on the options like network map so there are no maps right now so create the network map we can create so save the network map so it is not found right now because it is a uh, new information so view events so no events over here so no events so you can edit your user you can find your module types so everything you can say working fit and fine so in this video I have demonstrated how to install Pandora FMS server which is a highly open source server for monitoring your network in CentOS 7 so do uh, give this a shot do integrate this Pandora FMS server into your network it is a beautiful server to work so don't forget to uh, subscribe to my channel don't hit the uh, 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 so do hit the bell icon and even like this video thank you so much for watching thank you